Today's cars are jam-packed with many computers, electronics, and sensors, and any of these systems can have problems as the car ages and sometimes even when fairly new. When that happens, how can you tell what happened or even start to decode what's going on? Most of the time, we need to bring our cars in and have a mechanic decode things for us when the check engine light on the dash lights up. Though there are tools out there that allow us to read diagnostic codes from the car's ECU, they tend to be expensive. From the cheaper $40 units to the more expensive ones that cost hundreds of dollars, it doesn't make sense to pay so much when there is a better and less expensive solution. I will show you how this Android app can allow you to read your car's diagnostic trouble codes, clear them, and much more for a very affordable price. Before we start, I would also like to mention that as companies and people get greedier nowadays, we are also hearing more and more reports that many businesses are taking advantage of everyday consumers. We're talking about businesses ranging from banks to car repair shops that charge you for services that you don't really need. As a consumer, we have to stay informed and not let that happen. Let's take a look at how this app can help us help ourselves when it comes to our cars. All you will need to spend is about $25 Canadian, and this tool will pay for itself in more ways than one. If you ever have to deal with check engine or malfunction indicator lights, buying a used car, racing your car on a track, calculating fuel economy, or just are a gadget geek, then continue watching to find out more. Now we get to the most useful part of this video, the torque app, the check engine light, and more. The check engine warning light tells you that one of the ECU systems or sensors is not working properly and should be checked. Cars that are manufactured after 1996 are required to have the OBD2 system. The check engine light is part of that system and the OBD2 port allows mechanics to read trouble codes and better pinpoint issues. One thing to note is that the codes do not specifically tell you what is wrong as oftentimes different system issues can lead to similar trouble codes. So some investigation will be needed along with the codes you retrieve. Watch on to see where to check for solutions. All you need is an OBD2 adapter, an Android phone or tablet, and the Torque Pro app. Buy the OBD2 adapter online for about $20 Canadian and the app for about $5. And you have yourself a fully functional OBD2 scan tool. See the video description for links to where to buy both the adapter and the app. So now that you have the tool, what do you do when you have the check engine light on? First is to determine how important the warning is. If the check engine light is solidly lit, then it is not as severe, but you should get the issue looked into. Secondly, if the light is flashing, then it is serious and you need to pull off the road safely and turn off the car. Further driving it in this condition will cause serious damage to your car. Once you scan for the diagnostic trouble codes, you can start doing research into it. Aside from just Google, I found that car forums are a great place to get information on solutions. Oftentimes, people with the same vehicles have the same problems and already have a solution for it. So look for a forum specific to your make and model. Take the time to research and that will give you a starting point. Whether you decide to fix the problem yourself or take it into a mechanic, at least you will have an idea and it will be a little harder for bad mechanics to trick you into getting more work done than you need. Sometimes the problem can be as simple as a loosely closed gas cap. So using this tool and a bit of your time, you can definitely save some money. This tool can also be used to clear these trouble codes easily. But note that the codes will eventually come back if the issue hasn't been resolved. I myself have repaired my car and my family's cars using this tool and have been able to diagnose and repair by correctly replacing parts from oxygen sensors to ignition coils to simply cleaning the MAF air sensor. The tool has more than paid off for itself. Also, if you're looking to buy a used car, you can use this to scan for some of the existing issues. Note that these codes are not the only things you should look for, but can be a starting point. Be aware that the existing codes can also be easily cleared by the seller. You can at least scan for the codes after you test drive the car as some of the codes can come back within the short distance of driving, but know that other codes will only show up after longer durations of driving. In some cases, as you can see here, 
the car's computer makes available the distance driven with and without the check engine light on. So this can be a useful hint as to if the seller has cleared any codes. If you are a car enthusiast, you can also set up the tools dashboard to show you live readings from the different sensors in your car, ranging from RPM, boost pressure, vacuum, fuel economy, to coolant temperatures, and much more. Note that this will be dependent on the sensors available in your car and whether the manufacturer has made these readings available. Make sure to buy a quality adapter and one that uses Bluetooth. I have used ones that use Wi-Fi, but those are susceptible to interference from the many Wi-Fi access points in my neighborhood, so I would recommend Bluetooth ones. Also, for usability, don't buy the physically long adapters. Short ones like the one I'm using are out of the way when connected to the car and don't stick out. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Help support this channel if you did. Sharing it or clicking on the ads that you are interested in that you see while watching this video will definitely help. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.